Larry Gross, mountainstage.org is where you can get the show if it's not on your public radio station. we got a couple of guests on this show who are great blues men. They've been around for 10 years. Now, you guys met 2001, I read. Yep. Some, Golly, and yeah. both in Kansas. Yep. Yes, sir. Both from Kansas. Right. Yeah. How'd you grow up uh, in, getting into the blues? What, what got you into that genre? Or did you start there? Maybe you didn't. No, I didn't start there. For me, it was... Uh, uh, a movement back from classic rock, listening to classic rock as a kid, and then tracing back like people like Jimmy Page's influences, etc. Aaron Moreland, by the way, the guitar player speaking, and Dustin Arbuckle is the singer and plays the harp, and they are Moreland and Arbuckle, of course. And you, that's not surprising though, because a lot of classic rock obviously came from oh, yeah. American blues. I mean, classic rock, British rock. That's that was the, the, the what about you, what about you? How'd you get into this music? Uh, for me, I just kind of stumbled into blues when I was about 15 years old. Um, I, I had always kind of liked bluesy music, but I didn't really realize it. But when I first started hearing real traditional blues, it was stuff like Elmore James and early B.B. King stuff was the stuff that first bit me. And it just uh, it hit me like nothing ever had before. And it was the music that made me want to play music. people playing blues, electric sure. blues bands out there. And obviously they all have their own flavor, but not too many have this kind of almost primitive sound that you guys have. That's, and, you, and that's emphasized by the fact that you've even made a cigar box four string. Here's one about a steel driving man. The sound that you have with vocals, harp, uh, usually uh, electric guitar or your, your guitar that you made, cigar box guitar, and uh, drums, it's, it's a trio, not the classic power trio with bass, drums, and guitar, but it's, it's the way you guys have worked it out. Uh, you, I, I think you tried it with bass for a while, right? And you do play with, you have bass, I think, on a couple of tunes here. But, yeah, yeah, we do. Uh, we but, had a bass player for a while off and on, and it just, didn't, just never didn't found work. the right guy. Yeah. It just hadn't worked. Do you, do you, you like the sound that you got? Because also, you use that on the cigar box. You got the low, you got a bass string there anyway. Yeah. And you do a lot of that kind of uh, right. bass thumping when you're playing your regular yeah, guitar. I don't use a pick ever, so I'm always kind of doing something with my thumb on the bottom. Once you've had your kicks, Thanks very much for coming to see us. Moreland and Arbuckle, Just a Dream, 
And they do play a lot. They'll be playing all around. Uh, your website is Moreland Arbuckle. What is it, what is it called? Morelandarbuckle.com. Yeah, that's what I figured. Go there. Check out their schedule. You'll get just a little sample on Mountain Stage. And uh, if you go hear them in concert, you won't be disappointed. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks, Larry.